Hi everyone, welcome to this short video about a very important certification and uh, like a question I get asked a lot, uh, how to pass the Google Cloud Professional Architect exam in 2022. Now the GCPA, the, which is a short form of this exam, it's like one of the most prized certifications in the cloud and one of the most difficult to get also. There is a huge demand for cloud Google Cloud professionals as there are not that many you know, skilled professionals in the market. Uh, hence more and more people are getting Google Cloud and getting certified. And this this is a very, very like in-demand certification and a very difficult one. And it, there's a lot of overlap between the architecture and the security uh, like uh, fields, as we'll see. So just to give you a little bit of details, guys, what, first of all, what is the Google Professional Cloud Architect? Well, uh, it's a professional level certification. It's not like a beginner's one, which I'll get into more detail right now. Uh, but it basically a person who is certified, this means he's able to leverage Google Cloud technologies. You'll know all the Google Cloud inside out. He'll know how to set up like enterprise cloud level uh, frameworks, solution design, architecture, best practices. He knows how the software works in the cl Google Cloud. And you know how to set up like big multi-tiered applications and optimize for Google Cloud. So it is. this is not like a beginner's level certification by any means. If you are a beginner, you don't know Google Cloud, this certification is not for you guys. Uh, you will need baseline experience with Google Cloud and which I, I'll just I'll give you a few tips uh, shortly. But it is one of the most challenging and in-demand certifications in the cloud today. And really it'll help you out. So this is basically uh, on the screen, you see what, are, what the, basically what the exam is expecting you to do. You need to know all of these things and security and compliance is also a large part of it, but there are other architecture level things also. So like I've told you, I mean, I've, I think I uh, might have discouraged a few people by saying again and again, it's very difficult. It's not impossible, but it is a difficult exam. So why would I, why am I telling you? Well, first of all, and a lot of people get motivated. It is consistently one of the highest paid certifications year after year because of the very fact from 2019 and 2020 and 20 and the 21 and now we're in 2022. Usually it stops the lists. I mean, you can just Google it. Don't take my word for it, but it will show up as one of the most highest paid certifications currently in the market today. Not that many, many people are GCPA certified. And so it is a tough nut to crack. But provided you're able to do it, the rewards are many. You will be like adding yourself to a very niche group of people. So like, uh, and just to know you what I'm talking about. So I, I am certified as a GCPA. I'll put the link if you can verify my, if you want to verify my certification in the links. I think I have it till, I did it in the June of 2020. So yeah, it's valid till June, 2022. I might renew it this year, I'm not sure. But just to like uh, give you an idea. So I do know what I'm talking about because I have, the tips I'm telling you uh, how to prepare and how to pass, I have put into practice myself. So how to prepare guys? So first of all, like I told you again, this is not a beginner level certification. So if you are new to GCP, first thing I would tell you, you need to understand the Google Cloud, how it works. There is a very excellent course on Udemy available. You can search for this. It's a Google Cloud platform concepts. It's uh, really available and it will give you a very good idea of the cloud. And uh, Apart from that, you, you'll get 300, uh, yeah, you can set up a free tier account on Google. Like it, I think they give you $300 credit to try and learn the Google platform. Even if the services are not free, you, as long as you stay within $300, you can even learn the paid services, which, which are not on the free tier. Because what happens is guys, why you need to understand this as understand the exam. Like I've written here, it's a two hour exam. It's not a short exam. You need to know the exam guide inside out and a lot of the questions, they focus on real life scenarios and they give you case studies. That's why I do not recommend doing it without actual Google Cloud experience because unnecessarily you'll fail, you lose all that money, right? And Google Cloud within the preparation guide, they give you actual case studies. They will tell you these are the sort of case studies like companies who are migrating to the cloud, companies who are thinking about migrating to the cloud, what they do, how they act. So you'll need to know all of these things. You need to review those things in detail. I think they give you four case studies which you to review. So again and again, those case studies will keep coming up and they will expect you to learn this. So that's why it's very important to know the cloud, Google Cloud inside out. Apart from that, there's a very good course on Coursera. You can look for it. Uh, preparing for the Google Cloud Professional Cloud Architect exam. I'll try to put the links there. Uh, I think Coursera is not free, but you get a, do get a free trial for seven days. So you can take a look at it. Apart from that, there's a very good uh, free playlist available. I'll put, the, I'll put the links there and you can take a look at that also. So uh, I think it's much better than just going through the documentation, honestly, because this uh, playlist in YouTube, it'll give you a very good idea for all the concepts and provided you go through there, you make your notes, uh, you should be very well prepared. And apart from that last one, guys, definitely the practice tests, I would you recommend? I mean, there are many available. I don't need to tell you, you can uh, go from like 
Uh, Udemy itself has a lot of very good practice tests. You can get them from sale like $9, $10. You should be able to get it easily and practice it. So these are the top th the things I would recommend you to do. It is a very tough certification, but it is an awesome one to have on your profile. It really sets you apart and it will really put you in a very niche group of professionals. You will learn Google Cloud, you will learn security, you will learn solutions architecture, and you will be very well respected in the industry. So I hope good luck to you if you're planning to do it this year. And do let me know in the comment section if you pass and if this was any helpful to you. Thank you very much. Do subscribe to this channel and uh, let me know if you need anything else. Thank you.